With me now is Jack Straw MP, who is of the leadership and supports the leadership, and Jeremy Corbyn MP, who backed and helped organise Mr Ben's campaign. I want to ask Mr Corbyn a question first of all. Mr Corbyn, isn't it arguable that you've done exactly the opposite to what you politically intended, that you've turned Mr Kinnock, and for that matter his policies, from mere man-leader into God and God policies? Not at all. What we've done is raised a lot of issues in the campaign over the past few months and that is partly being reflected in the deep criticism of the policy review exercise and of the NEC's recommendation now to support a very tough motion on public ownership, whereas a few months ago under the policy review they wouldn't have been doing that. What we've achieved is a degree of activity and discussion of socialist values which would not have happened without the leadership contest. So you think you've made the Labour Party a bit more virile and a bit more socialist? There's been hundreds if not thousands of discussions at constituency and trade union level which has encouraged that debate and I believe will result in stronger socialist policies in the long run in this party. Well in the long run you might say we're all dead. Do you think the Labour Party will be more socialist as a result of what you've done? I'll ask Jack Straw in a moment. Yes I do. I think that uh, we've had a silence from the media on this campaign. We've had the power... Silence? Yes, indeed. Largely through this campaign, there's been very little serious reporting of what Tony Benn and Eric Heffer have been saying until the last couple of weeks. And I think that... I interviewed Mr Benn for an hour. Well, you did, yes, but many other serious newspapers did not or did not report what he was saying. It was nothing personal to you, as I'm no, sure I, you understand. I don't mean to take it as an attack. Um, Jack Straw, do you think the Labour Party, as a result of this campaign by the left, will be more socialist and more serious about its socialism? Well, we are anyway a socialist party. Um, the election uh, was a distraction. I don't criticise people for standing. They're entitled uh, to stand. But well, you do criticise them. If you say it's a distraction, that's a criticism. Hang on a second. Hang on. It was, they're entitled to stand. They have to take account of the consequences of standing. Now, the, the, there are two consequences. One is that uh, the policy review, and it's the most open and democratic review of policy and thorough re review we've had for many years, has tended to be pushed aside because of the much more interesting, uh, attractive uh, personality clash between uh, the leadership candidates. Uh, the second thing, ironically, that's happened is that uh, far from... Uh, the position that Jeremy holds being strengthened inside the party, my own judgment is it's probably been uh, weakened because that we're about to have the results uh, announced. It's about to show that uh, Neil Kinnock has won by a margin of eight to one. It's about to show that Roy has won by a margin of two or three uh, to one, and that obviously uh, strengthens their position. May this be the euthanasia of the left this year, despite all you've been saying, Mr Corbyn? Not at all. We had last night a rally here of over 500 people, the campaign group rally, by far the largest meeting so far at conference, and the size of meetings and discussions throughout the country. It's not the euthanasia, it's the rebirth in many senses of a serious thinking left that's looking forward beyond the 80s, that's looking forward to the serious economic issues the next Labour government's going to have to face. We run away from them. Already, the will be weakened. already in the first few, moment, first few moments of this conference, we've seen challenges about the way the conference is being conducted. Are you afraid, from your point of view, that it's changing from being the conference that everyone used to know into being more of a rally, a leadership rally with a leadership well placed in an organised system of business? Not really a Labour conference at all. The constitutional changes do worry me because they put the power of the national executive to an even higher level than it is at present. And the policy review can be taken alongside resolutions, and the NEC could ignore some of the resolutions if it wished to. I see those as actually quite serious matters. And I think you'll find in the coming year there'll be more and more discussion about them. The overall result tends to mask the quite strong feeling in constituencies and in some unions about the direction this party is going in. Jack Straw, crudely, the left don't accept their beat then? Well, it's not a, it really been a clash between left and right. It's been a clash between Tony, who's got a particular viewpoint uh, about the way the Labour Party should go, and the rest of the party. I don't think that's a clash between left and right. I think it's a clash between different views about how we go forward in the 1990s. But the simple truth is, Tony stood on a platform, he has failed to win in a most dramatic way. And the most significant part of uh, this election is that in the constituencies where there have been ballots, overwhelmingly the constituency parties have supported Neil. 